If you've been on the internet recently, you'll know that people are obsessed with charcuterie. But this platter is more than just a pretty face. The reason why we kind of see it more popular now is because people are really exploring a little more advanced taste palettes. Charcuterie is an art, and luckily we have two Van Goghs right here in Capitol Hill. Step brothers Sean and Joe at Cure. I'm Sean, I'm the owner of Cure Cocktail. Whether you're looking for duck salami or some deliciously decadent soft some cheese, cow cheese here. Sean knows his stuff. And at once, he schooled me. The word charcuterie doesn't mean a meat and cheese board. Charcuterie refers to the meat, so usually you have to pair that with cheeses too. So it's really a charcuterie and cheese board. And it turns out, we've been pronouncing charcuterie wrong this whole time. Uh, if you're saying in French, pardon my French, but it's charcuterie. Charcuterie? Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you listen to me butcher that word. Just like Joe is butchering this prosciutto, but in a good way. What we like to say is you want to be all across the board in terms of uh, textures, flavor profiles, and everything. Start with the meat. You've got a lot of options. There's finocchione salami, for instance. Um, people love this one. Once you toast it, it has a very, very good fat flavor. You can do a prosciutto classic. So you're gonna add chorizo to the board. It's a good spicy flavor. Cheese is next, from salty manchego to tangy cheese. blue cheese. So you want to add soft, you want to add hard, you want to add salty, you want to add Sometimes what we say pungent or a little funky flavors. Slice it up and throw it on there. The final step to our masterpiece is adding those little details. Olives, spicy mixed veggies, our favorite pickles. Yes. These are called cornichons. Love it. Add some bread and you're ready to go. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna stop eating this. This is delicious, love But it. charcuterie always tastes better with a good drink. Charcuterie boards have to be paired with wines. Um, the easiest way a lot of this is from Italy, a lot of this is from Spain. So get a Spanish wine or an Italian red wine. So go for a Tempranillo like Sean did, or if you visit Cure, you can even get a charcuterie inspired cocktail. Sardito Baracho, okay. which stands for the drunk piggy. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's do this. We start with the hard cheese, the manchego. Good crunch, good salt flavor to that. And don't be afraid to mix and match stuff on the plate. I'm gonna actually dip mine in our creamy Dijon mustard. Okay, just a, a touch little, right here. Getting a little crazy, love yeah. it. Charcuterie isn't really that complicated. It's just some awesome food artfully arranged on a platter. And while it does kind of matter how you pronounce it, it doesn't matter how you eat it. Don't be intimidated. There really is no wrong way to enjoy charcuterie. If it's not broke, don't fix it.